Hello Scorpios, this is for you October 2017, this is for your finances, your work, your career and your business for October 2017. Alright, so this is for Scorpio, for you guys. Excuse me. Um, this month, the spread will be done differently. I will be doing working on the first decan. Second decan and the last decan of October. There shall be three spread for you, Scorpios, October 2017. I've shuffled the cards a couple of times before the video. Just gonna do a few times more uh, right in front of the video before we do the spread. So for Scorpio, October career, money, finances, what are we seeing over here? First second, we will not flip the cards until later. First second, three cards. Second second. And last second. Then, this time round, we have the tail of the reading. Oh, nice. And the bottom of the deck shall be, oh god. Mm, the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck, the crowning, the major obstacle. If you clear this away, everything else is going to be good. The tail, the tail is like, you know, it's some, something that you, you can't reach it to scratch it. It's there, it's disturbing you, but you can't you can hardly scratch it. And you'll be there for a while because the tail since it's much more minor, a minor energy, but it's just there very disturbing to you. However, the major energy, the general energy, the major obstacle here, or the crowning of the issue, the root of the problem, if you manage to clear this away, you just it's going to be difficult, but you just have to clear it once and everything else is going to smoothen out for the rest of the time, rest of the month. So, the major issue, the general energy, we've got the death card. So, the death card is about changes. Changes coming. New change, new beginning, or ending, ending what needs to end. There is an ending. There is an ending required from you. Something needs to stop. There is a change required from you. It could be something that you need to change, something that you need to stop, you need to end, end a chapter, close a chapter. So that's the major obstacle for you. Are you able to make that change, to make that happen? Are you able to close, close the book and close the chapter? start anew are you able to let go of things once you're able to let go of things yes you will be able to get it get whatever get to whatever wherever you want scorpios october then the tail the tail of the reading we've got the full the full card so this full card is about one thing again one thing to be adventurous, to take some risks, one thing to um, uh, start a new, start afresh. You look at this puppy over here. This puppy is trying to stop you from doing something falling. You want to do something very adventurous. Some may, may see it as something folly, but you just want to do, you just want to do what you want to do. But because this is a tale of the reading, it's something that's disturbing you, you want to do but you are not able to do it. Or someone, something is stopping you and it's just something at the back of your mind that is that is disturbing you, that you can't really scratch it, you can't really touch it or reach out to it, you can't really deal with it right now. It's something that you can't deal with. So it's looking like your head and I mean the root of the problem, the disturbance, or the head and the tail, both of them are pretty similar. When this two energy is similar, it, it is saying that you are fixed. Your mind, you could have, you could have your mind fixed on something this time round, this month. 
you have your mind, you have your eye fixed on a plan, on a new opportunity, something very new. Because this death card is about new, it's about change. The full is about new, new fresh beginning. So something new is here very much on your mind this time around, this month. You want to start afresh, you want to start anew, but you are not able to let go. But it's always there, you want be wanting to start anew, like end everything, close a chapter, but you just haven't had that courage to. You just never had the opportunity, had the resources, had what you need to do to close the chapter and the chapter. The head and the tail is speaking. So, now let's go to the first decade. First 10 day of the month. Wow. So, the first 10 day of the month, first to the 10th of October, Ace of Sword. A lot of you, Scorpios, Ace of Sword, the first early part of October, it seems that a lot of you, many of you, are hearing good things about you, receiving good news coming to you. Swords are about communication, good news, good uh, feedbacks, good comment recommendations has been made to you on you by uh yeah not by you yeah maybe by you a lot of good communication circulating around you something that you've been wanting to hear from you never expect it to be to happen it happened on you good things good because this is the ace you aced it sorry excuse me then, we've got King of Sword. Again, this is communication. King is someone who is powerful, who is very prominent. There is a very um, uh, important, let's just important, someone, something of importance got to you. Or, you could be this, King of Sword. King of Sword is someone who 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 has the last say, who has the first say and the last say. He is a king. No one else is above him. Whatever he says is it. It's either you are the one or someone else, some other party, some other organization is the one. Then Oh my god, we, these are all swords. A lot about communication. Sometimes king of sword could also mean um, bad communications because king are like, um, they come on very strong and hard. It's like they don't, they don't give, give anything, anyone a chance. They just say what they want to say. Sometimes it may come across as a um, um, uh, bubble, um, like a verbal diarrhea or, or sometimes it could also come across as like um, verbally there could be some uh, disagreement um, between people or groups or association king of sword but it's looking more like good thing because it all started with an ace of sword then we have ten of sword Ten of Swords looks like this. Everything is on your back. It's killing you. I think you are feeling this, Scorpios. You are this, Ten of Swords. This card came out for you because of this, Ace of Swords. From the minute, from the very beginning, from the very moment when you get this Ace of Swords, when you get good things, good news, good comment, feedbacks, or um you know yeah just good news whatever that you've been wanting to looking forward for when it happened you were so optimistic you want to carry on the energy you want it long lasting for this good thing that had happened you want it long lasting you went all way out you went all way out you did whatever you could this is the king you Put in all your energy, what you you did, whatever you did, whatever you could be doing, you said whatever that you that you could be saying. You enforce whatever that needs to be enforced. 
but at the end of the day this looks more like you are tiring yourself out you suffered because of your own actions because maybe if you have applied for a job and you and you hear from it you gave yourself pressure you gave yourself stress and you became like this or you were so anxious, enthusiastic about this good thing that had happened, that came, happened on you, came to you. You were so enthusiastic, king of sword, like you try to maintain it, you try to guard it, but amidst the whole process, you tired yourself out. So for the first 10 days of October, Scorpios, is looking like this is what you have done to yourself. You just, you overloaded yourself. You stressed yourself out. You killed yourself. Not like literally, but you killed yourself by, you know, uh, overloading yourself. Or sometimes you could be... Like, you have to take back your words. A lot of things, Scorpios, you, that you have put out to the world, like a lot of things that you have said that, oh, I'm definitely not going to do this. I'm definitely not going there. I will definitely do what I do, continue to do what I do, whatever. You are taking, eating back your own words now, Scorpios. You are eating it back. first 10 days it's not that bad it's not that bad it's just that you know it's a it's a um it's an input and an output of energy here for the first 10 days so now let's see what is the next mid october what do we have in the middle of october which is 11 to 21st october so now we have five of cups Three of Cups and the Hierophant. All right, Five of Cups is someone who's not optimistic because he doesn't look in his surrounding. This person, he doesn't look around him. He's only looking at what has failed, all that had happened to him, all the all the bad things that had happened, which which are actually these three cups. It had over, uh, overturned. But there are two more cups behind him. Standing and looking pretty. Everything is still in there. It's not the end. He's just being pessimistic. Not being optimistic and hence pessimistic. If you look at the back, behind is mostly like snow. It's white. Sometimes it's um, uh, depressing. He's just feeling very depressed. In the middle of the month, feeling depressed but if you look at the whole picture it's not the end that there, there are actually good things that he didn't see it's just this is a card of pessimi uh, pessimistic pessimism it's just everything is on his mind it is not what it actually is It is not what it actually is. It is just what he's thinking, what he's assuming. Yeah, a lot of assumption over here. You are mind-fucking your own self. Scorpios, don't do that. Because apparently, it is not all bad. There are good things over here. Just be more optimistic over here, Scorpios. Because the next card, we have got three of cups. How fantastic, how wonderful this is. Three of Cups. This Three of Cups is like cheers. Cheers to... Three cheers, three cheers to success. Three cheers to victory. Because after this pessimism, we actually see this. So it is not actually what he's seeing. If It is not actually what it looks like in the middle of the month because following that we have a victorious card 
three of cups everyone is cheering everyone is tossing with one another looking pretty looking good good vibes are here what is so good you know it yourself good things are coming to you Scorpios good things are coming but we have the Hierophant meaning to say sorry it is not a but it is and we have a Hierophant Hierophant over here in this middle decan is a lot about learning Hierophant is like a teacher like a um, yeah like a master mastery of whatever everything he knows everything. He knows it all. He's like an encyclopedia. He knows everything. So in this spread, of course, Hierophant is a lot about learning. You have to learn. Learn and become the Hierophant. There is a lot of learning in the second part of uh, October. In the middle decan, 11 to 20th of October, there are a lot of learning, reading up, that, that you need to do that needs to be done a lot of preparation maybe preparation so if any one of you Scorpios are preparing or expecting um, for some new changes or meetings or opportunities interviews please be prepared this card is about preparation a lot of work needs to be done a lot of work I'm talking about a lot hell a lot of work so forget about this pessimism over here. It's just, it is just what is in your mind that you are just imagining yourself. The actual fact is this two card. Good news, good things are coming. Tossing is worth a toss. It's worth a celebration. Celebrate, celebratory is here. But thereafter, the aftermath is... Please be prepared. There are a lot of things for you to handle, to manage, to learn, and you shall be the Hierophant. You will need to be like a Hierophant. Know it all. You have to be prepared. A lot of preparation work. So in the middle of the month, Scorpios, look, be prepared that you need to be, you need to be prepared. Be prepared that you need to be prepared. Yeah, if that is how it it is supposed to be then the last decan what do we have mm. it is looking like October is not the end of the whole story for you Scorpios because firstly the last week the, not the last week the last 10 days towards the end of the month we have six of ones this card is a good card. It's a sign of a good card. This is a victorious card. Every sign has got this card by far. As far as I'm reading, Scorpio is the fifth sign that I'm reading. Every one of them has got six of wands. So this six of wands is about victorious. It's about people looking upon you, looking up to you. Like you did it, you managed. You, you managed... To get to where you are you're high up there and everyone be like kneeling in front of you respecting you victorious card over here then a temperance card it only makes sense because you have got the victorious card and then it's followed by a temperance card it's asking you to stay balanced don't get too proud don't be too loud on your success on your achievement because i told you success is coming your way good things are coming your way good news are coming your way have came happen on you and then there are even more following that first week there are more coming and you need to be balanced temperance card it's either you may be too loud loud about the good thing that had happened to you the celebration that you had for yourself and a temperance card is about toning it down also about the victory don't celebrate your victory yet okay because we have got the temperance is asking you to be more subtle 
go mild on your energy, be more balanced, okay? Weigh your pros and your cons, uh, look at your options very carefully towards the end of the month. A lot of self-awareness in this temperance card. Always be very clear. Don't get too carried away just because you have good news coming, celebrate celebration coming to you, victory coming to you. Don't get too carried away. Have, have some balance, well-balanced self-awareness over here. The temperance card. End of the month. Scorpios, temperance card. Weigh your pros and your cons. Weigh your options. Weigh and do what you need to do for yourself. Then we have this princess of cups. Princess is a fire energy. Fire energy about your heart, your emotions, your feelings. So this is a lot about passion. So towards the end of the month, we are seeing that, yes, we, we are seeing victory card, six of wands, victorious victory card, and asking you to stay well balanced, okay? And then you have this passion, this card of passion over here. It is looking like, if I can say Scorpios, it is looking like whatever that you have been trying, like maybe your dreams, the passion, the passion or the interest that you take in something, on someone, in a job, on a business partner, is happening towards the end of the month. This is a card of passion. You get to get the passion, the passion that you had always had, the interest that you always take, it's happening on you. This Ace of Wands at the beginning of the month that came to you, that happened on you, that you heard from, that you got from, was something that you always had interest and passion on. Princess of Cups. So towards the end of the month, we've got two victory cards, two good cards over here, victorious card and passion card. And in between, it's asking you to stay balanced. It's like, okay, don't get, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Stay calm, stay calm, stay cool. Okay, stay cool. So, the head and the tail of the reading was about new beginnings, changes. So, Scorpios, this month, a new beginning, a lot of changes is going to take place. And these changes that's taking place is towards your, your passion, your interest, what you had always wanted to do for your life, your dream. Good news. But probably amidst that, you may be feeling tired, overloading yourself. You may be uh you may not be feeling confident about yourself. Everything is just from your mind, but in actual fact, look at it, it is not it is not a exact uh failure. But you're just thinking and looking at it as though, oh, okay, God, okay, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. No, you're not, because look at that. A lot of victory card here. New beginnings. All right, Scorpios, this is for you, your October month, whatever your passion, your interest is happening this month, good for you. And just the only one thing, just don't overthink overthink about certain things and be pessimistic be very optimistic okay good luck to all of you good luck any one of you who needs a personal private reading feel free to contact me all the details are in the description box below um otherwise i will see you again in the next video see ya bye